One of the concepts students struggle with at the beginning of their educational career, uh, more specifically in you know first or second year of their engineering, when they get into labs, when they are doing basic electric circuits lab, they struggle and they don't understand the concept how current is measured in a parallel circuit. So on your screen, this is a random circuit that I just pulled up on the internet and you see there is a DC power battery 9 volt which is fed into three resistors those are labeled as R1, R2 and R3 and their values are also given as well uh, these are the rated values 10 kilo ohms, 2 kilo ohms and 1 kilo ohms also in this graphic you will see that there are nodes though those have been labeled so node 1 node 2 node 3 and node 4 and all these four at the top essentially connect the dc power the positive terminal of the 9 volt battery to each of this resistor correct um, with one node one is basically being common to all uh, other three nodes and at the bottom you see node 5 6 7 and 8 um, all of them are connected to the negative terminal of the ground and we know that anything that's connected to the ground will have a zero potential right okay now in order for us to measure the current across these resistors we're gonna have to make multimeter part of this circuit so I am going to use Tinkercad and I'm going to show you how to measure the current and I'm going to insert three multimeters in series with R1 R2 and R3 allowing the current to go through the multimeter and returns back to the circuit you have to break the circuit so you can connect multimeter and allow the current to go past resistor and then in multimeter so let's try to do that I'm gonna make this circuit a couple of different ways uh, depending upon what's your knowledge on breadboards and how familiar you are with breadboards so let's go to tinkercad.com if you don't have an account you might have to make one when you do that your dashboard will look something like this similar to mine click on circuits here go to create new circuits and then I am going to pull a breadboard here just type it in the search box and then just click and drag into your workspace I also need three resistors and I'm just gonna simply just put it over here also need a power supply so you can either go for a battery like this or you can also go with a power supply you know this is a variable power supply so you can change the voltage I think this could be anywhere between 5 and 30 volts yes <clears throat> 5 and 30 volts since we are using 9 volt battery I can just use this DC battery right here click alt and press R you can change the orientation here I'm going to connect the positive terminal of the battery to the positive terminal of the breadboard and then the negative terminal goes to the negative terminal of the negative rail of the breadboard I like to do color coding so black is my crown and red is going to be my positive terminal of the battery uh, I might end up using both rails so I'm gonna short ground with ground so I have ground uh, on both rails and similarly I'm gonna short positive terminal of the battery so I have positive 9 volts going in in both rails as well um, let's make the ground black so we know what's going on color coding is important um, like I said I'm gonna show you two different ways of doing it like how you make circuits uh, now parallel circuit one of the ways it is could be just you know trying to create a circuit on a breadboard similar to how it appears so R1 R2 and R3 they are vertically connected one end is connected to 9 volt and the other end is connected to the ground so we're gonna take that approach this is here this will go here and this will go over here they are vertically connected uh, 
at the bottom they are connected to the ground right um, all of them are just simply connected to the crown and if you look at the top terminal of the resistor is basically node 2 3 4 and they're connected to the positive terminal of the bat all right so you can achieve that again in a couple of different ways you can the simple way to do that is you just simply connect you know all the terminals all the other terminals of the resistor to positive terminal of the battery here to the red rail and then let's make it color like this okay uh, and I prefer to do it this way uh, because it just gives a, the circuit similar appearance to how it appears over here correct okay now what I'm gonna do I need to measure the current across these two resistors and not to forget change the value of these resistance well maybe we can keep it same here right now all these resistors are rated at one kilo ohm uh, maybe when we get it to work we can go back and change these values to what we have over here so get a multimeter and in Tinkercad, if you are trying to find current across two different components, you need two different multimeters. So because we are trying to find multimeter uh, current across three different uh, components, we need three of those. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here, like I said, you know, you have to disconnect the circuit. So I'm going to press R here and then rotate it such that one terminal of the resistor is disconnected the other terminal is just connected to the uh, red rail so you have electrons when I power it on the electrons travel through this red rail they go through this resistor and then from here they will travel through to this multimeter right here and then what multimeter is going to read those readings and then they finally return back to the circuit and then I will connect it to this black wire and then go to the ground completing the circuit I'm gonna have to do it for all the other two resistors as well press the alt key press R over here and then again I'm going to bring another multimeter over here uh, this red is going to be connected to the red terminal of the multimeter positive is just simply going to be connected to the black wire over here so it just goes to the ground completes the circuit and same thing over here alt R I'm going to make sure the terminal one end is connected to the positive wire which is connected to the red rail and the other is just simply connected to the multimeter and then this is the black so change the color to black similarly here this is going to be black and similarly this is over here is going to be black because these are connecting to the crown okay looks like my circuit is ready all I need to do is run simulation here and then notice over here the multimeter can measure stuff in three different modes M that's what this a for current V is this for uh, voltage and since this is solid now in the background so that means it is in voltage voltage mode and therefore uh, you know that in nine, in a parallel circuit voltage always remains same and because we are providing 9 volts so you see 9 volts in all three multimeters uh, and then finally resistance we are interested in measuring the current and when I do that you see the current changes to 8.99 milliamp this is all the three currents are pretty much going to be same and the reason for that is because uh, here we are we have the resistors which are the same value okay so whatever the total current is whatever the total current we have in this circuit coming from node 1 is going to be equally distributed among R1 R2 and R3 because here I have the resistors value set to equal but if I change these values right here to 10 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohm which I'm going to do now you'll see 
the values for the currents will change here two and then finally I got one kilo ohm over here so because this resistor value is higher compared to these two there's a very small current over here uh, remember current they hate the path which has or something that offers higher resistance and most of the current will flow through one kilo ohm resistor right here because we have this value of the resistor set to minimum among these three resistors um, so uh, this is one of the ways like I said uh, there's another way you can it's not that there's something different over here it's just you know having those instead of having those vertically connected you can have them connected horizontally such that uh, I'm gonna grab three resistors again here okay uh, change the orientation and then just gonna put them on top of each other resistor here and then similarly this is gonna <clears throat> be over I can push this here move this here also put this over here <clears throat> uh, this is gonna be ground remember here that everything over here is vertically connected so if I connect one terminal to the ground everything is connected to the ground this is because this is whole this whole column is vertically connected and as I hover my mouse around you see those green uh, circles green bubbles there right they indicate they are vertically connected all right similarly over here I need to connect this to positive right why positive because node 2 3 and 4 is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and that's what I'm doing node 2 3 and 4 they are connected to the positive terminal of the battery let's make it red okay circuit is complete pretty much uh, and similarly this is uh, node 5 6 7 8 right here 5 6 7 8 and they are connected to the ground right okay again if I need to calculate the amp readings here all I need to do is bring my multimeter and this time around I'm just gonna measure across one of them and then it's gonna be same for the other two as well same thing over here you have to press alt R change the orientation this time I'm actually gonna make it something like um, hold on something uh, like this yeah and then move it one spot up here I'm going to allow it to go through multimeter to the red terminal and then the negative <clears throat> is going to be just simply connected to this part of the breadboard so I'm going to make it black here and then start simulation back again here it's set to voltage mode right now I'm going to change it to amps and again I am getting 8.94 but if I change the resistance like the way we have over here 10 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm 1 kilo ohms you will see we get we will get the same results this will be 2 so the current across 10 kilo ohm resistor is 896 microamps that's what we are getting over here as well similarly you can set your two other multimeters to measure the amp across the two resistors and voltage is just pretty much simple here connect the positive terminal to the positive terminal here and the negative terminal to the negative terminal of the component and then simply it's just going to give you the voltage and because you have 9 volt coming in so you're getting approximately 9 volts 8.96 I hope you have a good understanding of how we can measure current in electric circuits again the truth uh, the the key part over here is to allow the current to full flow through the resistor and then allow that current after passing through resistor go through multimeter and return back to the circuit completing the circuit and that is the most uh, efficient way of calculating the current remember your multimeters will have some internal resistance very small so most likely you will not get the exact reading but that internal resistance or tolerance when it comes to the accuracy is not 
it's not that you're going to have a significant error. It's going to be very, very insignificant, almost negligible. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.